Good morning. This is the first week of Advent. We are the Mulders. I'm Kevin. This is my wife, Michelle. And our Advent reading this morning comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 15. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife, Elizabeth, was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly. But they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to conceive, and they were both very old. Once when Zechariah's division was on duty and he was serving as a priest before God, he was chosen by lot, according to the custom of the priesthood, to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And when the time for the burning of incense came, all of the assembled worshipers were praying outside. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. A priest, aged, righteous, and obedient. That was Zechariah. Scripture tells us he observed all the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly. Faithful submission to the Lord so characterized his life that Luke makes note of it before he even begins to tell the story of Zechariah and his wife, Elizabeth. I wonder what his favorite Psalms were. I wonder what prayers he uttered with great frequency and how often he had pleaded for a child. I wonder what people observed when they saw his enduring obedience. And I wonder, after all of those years, if Zechariah found joy in following the path God had chosen for him. And I wonder, would he choose it again? Kevin was diagnosed with cancer in April of 2019. And we had no idea what was going to come our way. At that time, this news dramatically changed our lives. And in the midst of Kevin's treatments, the pandemic would begin. Both my father and my mother would pass away. And my health too would face challenges. And sometimes I would just marvel and think, really? Another thing? There was a time when I would have thought two weeks of a trial was a long time. But here we are two and a half years into this journey and the call to obedience is exactly the same. Now let's just acknowledge something here. While scripture tells us that Zechariah was righteous, Luke also records his stumbles when Gabriel the angel came to him to tell Zechariah that he would have a son. Zechariah doubted. Zechariah did not believe. And there are days that I can truly relate, that I can so easily stumble to. The waiting is hard. It's very hard. The ongoing obedience takes energy that some days I don't think I have. When I consider Zechariah's story, I'm so thankful that God hasn't taken away my voice because there are times when I have truly deserved it. In those moments, God's strength is even more apparent. This is the story that God has given to us. And in spite of the hard days, the difficult days, there are also times of unexplainable joy knowing that he's walking with us. Everyone has something. And in a breath, in an instant, everything can change requiring us to recommit our lives to the Lord. Every day, every hour, and on occasion, every minute, 
we have to decide to faithfully follow. And sometimes in those difficult moments, I hear Jesus say to me, okay, now what are you going to do? He reminds me that I can either do this on my own or I can follow him and we can do this together. And of course, I want to follow him. I want to do my life with my savior. And in the hard times, I'm closest to him. And that's what I want. In these moments, again, I realize that pain isn't necessarily bad because it brings me face to face with my Lord and my Savior. Faithful submission, enduring obedience. This is what I long for. Zechariah stayed the course. He waited. He silently watched God move in his wife and in the world around him. And after the waiting, John the Baptist was born. And Zechariah's first words were praise. That is my prayer for us. After the waiting, may our first words be praise. May our first words bring God glory. And may our first words join with the psalmist saying, praise the Lord, O my soul. Let all that is within me praise his holy name.